Pulling off the perfect jumps with the perfect landings is incredibly rewarding. However, designing those jumps is a pain in the ass. I was trying to design my jumps when I noticed that my ramps were almost always good enough, but never perfect. Ah, if only I could change the takeoff angle by one degree, or change the jumping gap by one centimeter. To solve this problem, I decided to build fully customizable ramps and make them predict where the perfect landing would be. Presenting you Ramp Builder, fully customizable ramps that are UV mapped and can be procedural generated at runtime. Let me show you how it works. Here we are on a brand new scene in Unity. I have imported the Ramp Builder from the Unity Asset Store. So let's start to create a scene. I usually like to start by making a plane. This is going to be our floor. So let's make it at the origin. We create a new object uh, that is going to be our ramp. We can add a component of Ramp Builder or just simply drag and drop our script to the object. Let's put it at the origin and give it a material, a simple one, just all blue. And here is our first ramp. We can see in the inspector that we have a ramp builder section and this has all the options that can customize our ramp. Let me just first make it very simple and then I'll go through the options one by one. So the first one is the ramp type. We have three ramp types. One is one-sided, tabletop and hill. And the first option is the ramp curvature. We can make our ramp bigger or smaller. The next one is the ramp tiles. And this is related with the amount of triangles that are used in the mesh of this ramp. If we only have one ramp tile, then this ramp is gonna be straight. If we have more ramp tiles, then the curvature is going to be smoother and smoother. And it's actually important to have a smooth ramp if you're using something like a car or a vehicle or even a skateboard, because then when you go into the ramp, uh, it doesn't mess up all your physics and suspension and all that. So it's nice to have this curvature being smooth. Uh, the next property is the width, which is pretty self-explanatory. We also have the takeoff angle. So for example, if it's 90 degrees, then you just jump straight up. The next property is the flat takeoff. The curvature of the ramp might give the car some rotation, some angular momentum. And this can be really cool if you want the car to do backflips or front flips or something like that. But if you want a car to go straight uh, off with the takeoff angle, then you might want to add this flat takeoff. This is something that is used a lot in skateboarding. So for example, if you're doing a half pipe or vert skating, uh, the last section is just completely vertical so that the skateboard goes up with no rotation. The last feature that I'm going to show you is this flight simulator. So we have the option to draw a flight path and this assumes that an object goes through the ramp and at the end it has a launch speed so it has that velocity and the rigid body has a certain drag here it's 2.84 so this can be really useful to decide where the landing uh, is going to be however if your vehicle has different physics or if it doesn't launch right at the end of the ramp then this will not work. Up next, we have the tabletop ramp. This ramp has all of the same specs as the one-sided ramp, but it has an extra one, which is this tabletop length. With this ramp, you can make your player jump from one ramp and land on the other side. And if your player is not going fast enough, he will just land on the flat face, maybe lose a bit of speed, but at least it's not game over. Another ramp type is the hill. This one is very similar to the tabletop, but instead of the top being flat, we have a different curvature that we can change the size. 
the last type of ramp is not builded with the ramp builder script. So let's delete this one and create another empty object that is going to be our curved ramp. We can add a component curved ramp builder this time and put it at the origin with a material. And now we see the curved ramp options. We have now two ramp radius. One goes up and the other one is better to show you from the top view. It makes the ramp go around its origin. And we can choose to change the inner radius to make it larger or bigger. 